Hello YouTube, we're going to do a Minecraft walkthrough. We're going to use the theme of Invictus. And uh, here, I'll show you where we got that. You go into, let me find the right one, resource packs. And we've got a couple download. This is the one I'm using right now. It is for an older version of Minecraft, but Minecraft just updated, so I'll give it a little bit before I trade. Uh off to a different one. I really like it. It's really realistic. I think it looks great. We're going to do a single player game. I have a uh, a multiplayer game on a server that we use in the house for family members and I'll show you what it looks like later. But I just thought we'd start a new world and see what we got. I'm going to name it YouTube so we the one we record on. It's survival mode. It means you can die from everything. We're going to turn on the chest we're not going to turn on the cheats. We're going to keep it default world, not flat world or anything like that. We're going to have all the goodies, the villages, the dungeons, the creepers. This is the seed generator. If you find a world you like, a lot of times you can get a seed from it. It's a, a group of numbers. You put it in here and you can generate that world for yourself to play on in uh, single player mode. It's pretty cool. But uh, we're just going to go blank, let it choose what it wants to do. Now, everything's good. We create our world. This can take a few minutes and when it does load, you know, it can look a little weird for a few minutes while it starts loading the layers of the world. You gotta remember the world is huge on PC, which is what we're playing on. So depending on where it puts us, this can be a real big pain or it can be great. I see. We have started beside a horse, a whole bunch of horses. Look at them horses. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Now, we should have a chest. Or did we forget to turn on the chest? I thought we did. I might have forgot. Hmm. Maybe I turned it off when we started. But that's what... Hmm. <laughs> they are not happy to see us. I'm happy to see them. In, uh, in, the wor in our home, uh, our family uh, grouping. There's our chest on our family server I have yet to find a horse and I have covered over two dozen maps now we're gonna look in here and see Ooh, first let's go into settings because that's really loud just our it's at 50 percent let me adjust it down here because oh and you can have music on your game I turn it down because I really I'm not a fan of the music that comes in this game. Anyways, let's get our stuff out of here. Hold shift and it'll stack everything for you. Make life a little easier. Ooh, fish. Now, I have never been able to go fishing in Minecraft. It takes a lot of effort and I just haven't put that effort into the game. I need to though. At least once. I think, every, I, think I should try out everything you can do in Minecraft at least once. And maybe I will later. Now, we're going to take these with us. Whatever the game gives you, it's a good idea to take it with you. Now, nice sunny day. Look at that terrain. We're going to have some big mountains to go over. First, I feel like we should build a house. So let's start by building a crafting table, which will help us. Turning all these oak planks, in, or all these oak pieces into planks. There we go. Now we've got some stuff. Now, where do we... This is nice and flat here. Let's take this tree. I think this is another oak. Yeah, there we go. Getting achievements all up in here. That's good. Now, as you can see, this is not a regular Minecraft theme. Like I said, we're using a special one. One I really like. And uh, you can get different ones for free online. And just try them out however you like. I just like the realism look. And uh, that works for me. Now. Uh, ooh, sheep. We need sheep. If you can get some. Because you want to be able to build a bed. And you need three wool and a couple planks for that. Because at night, if you sleep. You know, get someone where there's no monsters and sleep. The night will pass faster, and you won't be stuck inside until you can build a sword. There's that one. There you go. Alright. 
And we've got a pickaxe. Let's get some stone so we can mm. build a furnace. Which really helps you get going. Let's see. You need... Let's try and get at least ten pieces there. Ooh, and there's some coal. That is also very helpful. Well, let's get a piece of that. That can only help. Now, where shall we build our house? Ooh, what about right here? That's a nice flat spot. So, let's start getting some more planks. Hold shift, collect them all at once. Let's put, let's decide here. We don't need fish. Put this down here, put our fish up here for now. There we go. We won't make it huge. Let's set everything out so we know how big we want it. There's that. We want this out here. We'll set it two over. Go in here. Alright, there's our furnace. Set it here. And we can put our piece of coal in our furnace and cook. Let's see if we can cook the salmon. Yeah, we'll get that started. Alright, let's build the house. I'm going to start a wall right here. Back a little bit. That's far enough out that way. two doors there. Stand up here. Now your house has to be about three blocks high so you can stand up in it. But you can always just build it up two and then dig down one level. That's really up to you how you want to do it. Let's hop off here and build some doors though before we finish. You need six blocks for doors. There we go. Nice doors. Now, to place doors properly, we're going to stand out here. One here, one here. Woohoo! Now, let's go grab a tree real quick. Another tree. This looks like it's the same wood. Good, good, good. Do, 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 do. Ooh, look at this. Isn't that pretty with the flowers? I don't know what kind of tree this is. Let's check it out. What does that say that is? We scroll over. Ooh, that's spruce. We'll make our roof out of spruce. How does that sound? Might look really neat. And we just broke our axe. So we should go back and make another one. Mm. And to do that, we get back up here. We hop in our little house. And the first thing we do is turn these into planks. And we want all of them, so just click shift. And that should give us plenty. And we'll use these as a nice little leg up. Let's start placing them. Because so what we want is a structure so we can keep monsters out. Whoops, I'll take that one down in a minute. Did y'all see that? I put one inside the house. We want to be able to keep the monsters out. Us in build a bed so we can get to uh, sleep. Alright. Ooh, it's dark in here though, isn't it? That's alright. We'll take care of that in a minute. First, let's try building a new axe out of stone. Goody. Ah, that should help. Let's see here. Let's 
also build a bed so we can sleep tonight. Now you can make your roof out of all kinds of stuff. I'm just making a real simple one right now out of what we got. And we can place our bed right here. Let's put it facing up that way. See, our house isn't very big, but it's big enough to get us through. Now we've got some cooked meat to eat, along with apples. Because you see the little uh, red circles there on the left of the lower screen? Those are your starvation bars. And if you haven't eaten, you can starve to death. So you definitely want some kind of food. Now let's put our little torches up. That's good. Still got some daylight to burn. So let's see what else we want to get done today. Let's fancy up that roof a little bit. But first, let's make some stone tools. Stone is stronger than wood. And once we get some work done, we'll go look for some iron. That's stronger than stone. Now, after iron, you can make uh, gold tools, which aren't that great actually. They look nice. And they don't have very long uh, life though. Let's see here. Hmm. Let me see if we can spot any coal. Because a lot of times if you can find coal, you can find iron. Which I have to have a stone pickaxe to mine anyways. But it'd be nice to know where it's at before dark. So we can dig it tomorrow but it's getting dark so let's go ahead and head back get a little bit more of this so we can build all our tools including a sword oh, I see a glow over there tells me that's lava see it glow no there's a big waterfall of lava too so yeah we are surrounded by some very interesting geography now Let's make us a pickaxe first, because we're going to need it. And now we're out of sticks. So we take, let's start with these. And we make planks. And then we take two sets of planks. And two planks makes four sticks. That way we got 52. That's a lot. But we're going to need them, because we still need sword. We have no armor yet, but we'll get there. Let's see here. We could probably use with a shovel for dirt. There's that. I'll put that there. We'll have to plant some trees later. We got lots of saplings to do that. Let's see here. What's the other tool we could do? We can do a hoe, but we're not really going to be planting a garden this yet. So nice to have it. We'll put it in our storage trunk for when we need it. Alright. Let's bring a storage trunk. We should probably store some stuff. We can store our raw mutton until we get more coal. This way if we die, all of our stuff will be safe in here except for what we have to have with us. It's always a good idea to store your stuff kind of in an orderly fashion. So you know where it's at. It's easy to grab. We just want to grab and go. Now we keep a little bit of food with us. So we have it when we need to. It's dark outside. As you can see. So you go to bed. And when you get up. This place will now be in your memory. And when you die. You'll come back here instead of to your official spawn point. Now. You see anybody on fire out there? A lot of monsters catch on fire. Mm. Ooh, that's a loud cow, isn't he? Let's get down here and see if we can find any coal. Oh, apparently I need to be louder according to my editor. So, let's get down here and see if we can spot any more coal. Oh, I see a big seam of it. That'll be good. What? Oh, it's a cow. For a minute I thought there was just random glass in there. So, yeah. There it is. See the coal? Now coal can be dug with a wooden pickaxe. 
but you cannot dig but you don't get any uh, experience that way so try it with the stone and see if it drops experience orbs hmm not yet there goes one see those little greenish yellow orbs those are experience orbs they help you level up now we're getting a ton of coal which is good you need it to cook food and make certain things you need it when you finally do find iron ore to turn it into iron bars and with gold and other stuff so you should always try and have a steady supply of coal at least one pack of six or one stack of 64 it's good to keep around later on once we do find a good uh, iron seam I'll show you how to build hoppers for your uh, stuff and then you can just feed into your furnace and fill it full of coal and honestly depending on how much you use it for it can take a very long time to deplete because I believe it holds five or six stacks so if you can fill it all the way up you won't have to worry about it for a while now let's see here hmm let's clear this out just so we have it and we might go check out that cave I just saw on that hill if we don't get distracted first that's one problem I'm a distracted player to go check out everything but there was a hole in that cave and a lot of times caves and hills are a great place to find minerals also dungeons which are full of monsters and minerals and usually lava but lava can be got around with bridges just don't make the bridges out of wood because they will catch on fire and burn away but let's go see what's over here first mm -hmm. I really like the flowers on the spruce trees that's really entertaining you hear that water let's see here we've got something underground let's go see what it is Woo! it's a witch run we don't have any armor boogers that's what we want to run into before we can get armor up menace now witches can poison you and are very hard to get off you because they can throw spells they don't have to be standing beside you but yeah I want to be careful about that guy if you've played minecraft you know it's full of monsters so you just have to be careful you can make leather armor but I find it takes a lot of cows and isn't really worth it you don't get that much of a boost so we're gonna go find iron Ooh, cow sounds awful close doesn't he let's go see what we can find up here let's see hop hop Ooh, there's a big hole there one thing we should probably make before we go exploring too deep is some torches why is there a herd of cows by that lava? Like they have no sense of danger. They probably don't, they're cows, but they should know better. Hmm, don't see nothing in there. Let's go back around the other side, see if there's something on that side. Careful of the holes. Careful of the holes. They probably should have sealed up that witch, by the way. He's now just running around. There's that hole we found. Could be a good cave. Let's go look. That is really random just floating there in the sky. Hmm. Might be something worth checking out later. They seem to have found quite the mountain range. Ooh. And some coal. Mm. Is that our hole up there? Yeah, let's build some 
upstairs. Here we go. Do, do, do. Yeah. Here we go. Any iron in here? Nope. Just the other side of the hills. Okay, keep looking. There's some coal, but I think we've got enough coal for now. We'll save that for when we run out. Since we're playing on a single server, I don't have to worry about somebody else stealing my stuff. Which is good. Hmm. Still, we need to find some stuff to get this game going. We shall keep looking. We'll go over this way a bit. Bunch of holes in the ground. Very deep holes. Now, you can hold shift and squat to look. But, let's see here. Hmm. We'll take one quick look over here and then we'll go make some torches so we can explore some of these caverns a bit better. Always a good idea to have torches when you go. One of my favorite things to do with torches is to find some pumpkins and make jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns work underwater and I think look a bit brighter than just your average torch. You hear that? I hear that. Oh look! Llamas! Those are new. They just put those out a few weeks ago. and I hadn't even seen any in my other game. And I see a zombie hiding. You see that guy? We're going to hold on to this. <laughs> now we're going to back away because he's on fire and can catch us on fire. There we go. I really wanted to check out those llamas, but let's wait till he dies. Yep, there he goes. Now they'll drop rotted meat, but it's really not that great because you take poison damage when you eat it. Yeah, check that out. There's a whole bunch of llamas. That's really cool. I hadn't seen any llamas yet. I'm going to take a screenshot real quick so I can show everybody on Facebook that we found llamas. I like it. Hmm. We still didn't find any iron though, did we? I hear another one. Do you hear him? It's being like zombie territory. Lots of pigs too. I wonder if camel or llamas are friendly. Look at the baby! <coughs> Woo! -hoo. They make a weird noise though, don't they? Okay, we should probably get back to our house. I just thought the llamas were something neat to look at. It just spit at me! Did you see that, guys? It just spat at us. That's disgusting. Bad llamas. There's another one on fire. Oh, they're coming out of that cave. We better hurry up. Luckily, they kind of shamble. So you can usually outrun a zombie. If you know which direction he's coming from. Problem's going to be if that witch is out here. Oh, we're running back to our house. Now, the more torches you put out, by the way, the less the monsters will come around. But let's get back to our house, and I'm going to close up for the night. And then we'll head back out tomorrow and look for more stuff. Never know what we'll find. Mm. Oh, cow. Alright. Get in the door. Going to expand the house. Our bed's in the way. But, alright. 
see you guys tomorrow.